my bad that is. We all know Australia has kangaroos. We all know China has pandas. We all know the lions of Africa. But what about those animals that go under the radar? What about those animals that you wouldn't associate with that place? Animals so rare, only a handful of people see them. You may not know they are here, but they live among us. My name is Cookie, and this is Animal Anomalies UK. The Chinese Water Deer. Chinese water deer are a true animal anomaly in the sense that they're a non-native, they just shouldn't be here. And as you would guess, this cute looking species of deer is from China. Although there, it's a critically endangered species and actually extinct in the south and the west. The population of Chinese water deer is considered to be around 10,000 of them left and the UK has roughly 10 to 15% of that number. But how has that come about? How are the Chinese water deer in the UK? Well, way back in the early 20th century, these deer were first introduced to the country via Woburn and Whipsnade. They were released into parks to roam and graze along with a variety of other animals and from there set their sights further afield. They moved on from these locations and started to broaden their horizons. And because they favour reed beds and river systems, they eventually found their way to Norfolk, which now is the biggest population of Chinese water deer in the UK. These deer stand at around 50 centimetres at the shoulder, they weigh about 15 kilograms and have these big tusks protruding from their mouths. Both males and females have these, although the females are a little smaller. So with that knowledge in mind, we're off to Norfolk to try and find one of these saber-tooth looking deer. Oh my word, look at this. What a sunrise that is. We've got Katie down there defrosting the car, having a great time, what a good girl. It's just gone about, I don't know, five to seven in the morning and uh, we're really excited. We're going out for these Chinese water deer. I'm really hopeful, man. I think this is it. I think we're gonna find them quite quickly. After the research we've done overnight, it sounds very promising. It sounds like you come here, you can't not see these Chinese water deer, so. Should we go do it? So today we're not just with our own selves. We've actually got a guest with us as well. This is Liam from A Shot of Wildlife. He's going to be our expert guide and show us where these Chinese water deer are. He's local to the area, so knows the best places to try and see some of these saber-tooth looking deer. Not only that though, he's also a YouTuber and has a bank of wildlife videos to check out, so make sure you head to his channel to give them a watch. But back to finding the deer. Liam is showing us around Strumpshaw Fen and he's confident that we'll be able to find what we're looking for, and it wasn't long until we got some action. So we got a little munchak just straight under that tree. He's staring us up. <laughs> Look cute guy. These two here, they're probably Chinese water deer. The way right. they're spaced out a little bit further. Because they, they're in wet habitats, they have to have a little bit bigger feet so they don't sink into the mud. Oh, okay. So that there, that's probably as well. I mean, they're also a little bit bigger than Munjak, which could be around. They say Munjak have got quite a small one. Yeah, smaller and a bit sort of narrower, narrower tooth. So that there, that's, oh, a, yeah, that's yeah. a Munjak, see how it's closer yeah. in? Yeah, and then and that then one. That one's wider apart and thicker, yeah. So we are in the right area. They're definitely about, but we've just not seen them. Just hiding from you. <laughs> <laughs> One thing we did see though, which was quite a nice surprise, was this bad boy. This is a marsh harrier. They're quite rare in the UK with a population of roughly 1,000. With a length of about 50 centimeters and a wingspan of up to 1.4 meters, they're the biggest of the harriers. In 1971 though, this was considered the rarest bird of prey in the UK, but since then, their population has tripled. An incredible sight to see at Strumpshaw Fen, but not the incredible sight we were at. After, although we were close. He's here. Just come, come, come. I'm scared. Of it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We've just seen. Get 
That's my bad, that is. We two just seen it came around the corner and he stood to the towards the edge of the path. I did, did you film it? I filmed you in it like the area, but I don't know caught on camera no. <sighs> It's like behind the tree. That is my bad, that was. So an absolute disaster there. Just around this corner was a Chinese water deer in the path. As I crept out from the side to try and get a better look, it darted off into the reed bed and wasn't to be seen again. I felt like I'd let the side down there. We'd located one, but it was me who scared it off, so no one got the joy of filming it. And that's all we saw from that trip around Strumpshaw Fen. It was a shame, but we moved forward. So to put that failure behind us though, we took a short trip to a place called Horsey, which had something really cool on offer. Ah, hello. <laughs> Look at These are grey seals and this particular area is a bit of a tourist hotspot to be able to come and see them. Measuring up to two and a half meters and weighing over 300 kilograms, they can also live for up to 40 years or so. And unbelievably, at one point in the early 20th century, these were extremely rare in the UK with about 500 or so of them on the coastline. However, now the British Isles is home to around 90 to 95% of Europe's grey seal population and about 40% of the world's grey seal population. There are roughly 100 and 25,000 grey seals in the UK now and places like this in Horsey get big numbers that you can go and see. They're extremely cute and it was lovely to see them. However, once leaving the seals, we encountered something amazing. Oh my God. It's coming through, it's coming through. Look, look, oh my God, look, 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 look. Don't move, don't move, don't move. What just happened? <laughs> Chinese water deer just ran straight across the road. Basically, what has just happened, we're coming back from the seals to uh, back to the Airbnb. I saw I saw something in the field, so I pulled up. <laughs> How random. That was, ah, oh, I can't. That was really cool, wasn't it? So after that mad dash of baffling excitement, watching those deer just cross the road in front of us, we were desperate to get a closer look at them. So we drove around the area looking for any more signs of water deer. And at one point we nearly mistook these gigantic hairs for them. We carried on further though, and eventually got a lead. So we scrambled out of the car, long lens in hand, and this is what we got. It. we'd found the Chinese water deer of the UK and in quite a few numbers. It was amazing to be able to see this skittish animal anomaly going about its business from a distance. They're super cool to look at, the soft look they have with those big tusks, a proper cool animal to be seeing wild in the UK. They blended in very well with their surroundings which created for some cute shots like this. This was all on day one of exploring for the water deer in Norfolk and after the earlier failure with Liam where I scared one away, to see this happen and then to get these sort of shots we were absolutely delighted with it. I want to say a big thank you though to Liam for joining us. Definitely go and check out his channel. Thank you to everyone who has watched and the patrons especially for making these videos happen. And don't forget to head over to the wildlifewithcookie.co.uk shop and get yourself some quality clothing. Like this video, subscribe if you're new. This has been Wildlife with Cookie. Take care.